Okay, today's video is crazy because I had no intention of thrifting today. I actually had an appointment in the morning and then my girlfriend who works at a local council on aging called to tell me that they were having their thrifty Thursday. And I was kind of tired and I was like, I don't think I'm gonna go out today and decided last minute to go. The text message from my friend said that the sale was running from 10 to two. Just before noon, I headed out to the sale and I ended up finding something that I could not believe was left behind. Let's go see what happens. All right, so I got some special backstage access here with my girlfriend Penny. We're at the Council on Aging and I thought the sale was from 10 to 2, but it was 10 to 12. Good thing I have a connection. This oh, yes. is a nice All bag. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm yes. so excited. Yeah. Two bucks. I love being alone to shop. You have no idea. This is fantastic. Shoes are how much? Five dollars. Wow. We're gonna have fun, yes. fun. I was telling Penny about mob wife aesthetic because look at this mob wife jacket for five bucks. Isn't that fantastic? We have some jewelry here. Oh, Penny's showing me what she snagged. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. For $2. That's insane, that is so good. Hello, how are you Gigi? I love it, that is such a deal, <laughs> I love it. All right, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and get to work. Let's get a... Uh, handle on what things cost new with tags items priced as marks uh marked all accessories two shirts and pants three sweaters sweatshirts blazers four coats five okay this is fantastic because i am going to have a live show on saturday i love to get stuff at places like this because my buy-in cost isn't so expensive look at this philosophy sweater is beautiful this is new i'm gonna grab that that's beautiful Oh my gosh, I also got these, um, they said new with tag is price as marked. This Nike Golf I think will sell well. Um, this Tommy Hilfiger I'm going to put in Anthony's Easter basket. Look at that, it's new with tag. Um, I came here once before and I got some St. John pieces that sold really well. It's just nice because it's, it's local and I can support people here. So, okay, that is beautiful. All right, let's keep going. I think I am gonna get this jacket for Mob Wife Aesthetic. I think this is great. And for $5, I don't have to charge crazy money. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, it's a little cape, actually. Let's see, it's faux fur. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, I don't know, do you think the cape will do as well? That's $5. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> is this for real? This is insane. All right, this is a definite, definitely getting that. All right, I feel like I'm kind of casual in the video and I just wanted to pop in here to say my heart was racing because the sale had already ended. My friend who works there had just shown me the coach bag that she found. I couldn't believe that the entire time from 10 to 12 went by and nobody grabbed the Burberry coat. It is in beautiful condition. There are comps that range anywhere from $150 to $400 for this jacket. This is like a six hundred dollar coat it is beautiful when I first looked at it I didn't think that the belt was there so I thought maybe that's why people left it behind but I'm still gonna pick it up and then the belt was tucked right in the pocket right in the Burberry lined Novacek pocket it's not like you can't see the plaid it's right here it is so obvious Burberry is etched in each button the seams are beautiful the plaid lines up there's a tag on the inside stitched in I own a Burberry coat and it has all the markings that this is authentic five dollars for this Burberry coat right, let's get back to the video this is the highlight but I did find some other things so let's see what else I found these are really cute Lauren Ralph Lauren flats they're a little bit worn on the back these sun hats are adorable, I think, from Land's End. That's Land's End. This is H&M. What do we have down here? No, I'm not crazy about those. I just said I was leaving behind high heels, so I can't take those home with me. And I have so many boots. Now that I found Burberry, I can't overlook anything. Those look a little worn. I like these with the... Oh, these are new too. Hmm. I like the length on those. Let me grab these. I mean, totally worth it for the $5 Burberry. 
Let's take a peek. I mean, the stitching looks really good. I was concerned that it didn't have a belt, but they even put the belt in here. I mean, it's all stitched on the inside. I think it's legit. I like this Lucky Brand top in a size large. They have this whole slew of Tommy Bahamas shirts and some new with tag stuff. This is cashmere. These are all Tommy Bahama, all silk. So the thing with Tommy Bahama is I like to get stuff that is patterned to sell. These would be great for the live auction. These are $3 each and they're all fresh from the dry cleaner. So no ironing, no anything. They are absolutely beautiful. This place is amazing. I think this Adidas hoodie is really cute. I like hoodies for my live shows. It is a size small. It's in really nice condition from what I can see. I saw this sweater. It's out of season, but it's vintage made in Hong Kong wool. I'm gonna look this up because this looks like a cool piece. I just gotta make sure there's no pilling or anything. The stuff here is in really beautiful condition from what I can see. I also think this is cool. At first I thought it was a tablecloth, but it's definitely a shawl. It just looks like it's kind of maybe oh, a little tangled here. I guess I'll leave that behind. I haven't looked at the pants yet. Some gems here though. What are these jeans? They look old school. Oh, Zara. Those are cute. What size four? Oh, I see stains right there. That always makes my decision easier, you know? Cute little plaid pants. I also think these chunky gold earrings are having a moment. The accessories are like $2. I think these are really cute. Those could do well. I love me some hoops too. Everything's so organized here and it's so peaceful to be alone. Um, I was looking at this Land's End jacket. It's just like a little black puffer. I think I saw Eddie Bauer here too. This is a nice Eddie Bauer jacket. I might grab that too. It's really nice for spring. The comps on that sweater were great. So I think they're good. Getting the earrings. I like this Red Sox sweatshirt, but it's all yellowed around here. I love getting sweatshirts. There's the 2004 World Champ. Uh, I think I'm going to pass on that. New Balance. What's this? This is a Columbia. It's kind of nice. I grab this. John Ashford. And then these are all suiting. Okay, decided to go back over to the shoes and look what I found. Oh my gosh, they're in excellent condition. These are fantastic. I love finding Ofus. What a great stop this was. I did really well. Penny's cashing me out. I'm going to be out of here. We'll go home and see. Oh, and I'm going to bring this home, Penny, and make this look yeah. beautiful. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was incredible. So much fun. So many new with tag items. But I did spend $100. I had 40 in cash. They take checks. So I'm going to go home and I'm going to write a check for 60 and I'm going to come back and I'm going to clean up Penny's coach bag and see if I have anything to donate to them. Okay, I'm home. I came home to grab a check for Penny. If you hear talking upstairs, my husband's on a call. We're going to focus on the corners here on this bag for Penny. This is a gorgeous vintage coach bag. It's just so beautiful. So you can always look right here and get the, the identification of the bag. I really can't see that, but it's beautiful. So I have literally had this since I started my business like five years ago. I should probably get a new one. This Doc Martin Wonder Bomb. Look at <laughs> A little bit goes a very long way. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit here. You can see all the wear on the corner here. You're just going to wipe it right away. Literally just goes away. Look at that. So beautiful. Just hit all these edges. Just conditions. Add some moisture back to the bag. You don't want to put too much because then the bag will feel kind of greasy. My nails are so overgrown. I hate when they get long like this. This is beautiful because it's got the feet on the bottom. Look at this leather, it's gorgeous. It's mainly the corners. This bag is really in excellent condition, but once you do this to the corners, it will just bring it back to life. I'm just doing a quickie here because I want to bring this back to Penny. Wash your hands after this because they're a little bit greasy. Oh, it looks 
beautiful. All right, look at that. Look at that difference, it's shining. I'm gonna let it set for a second and then go back and pay the rest here. Beautiful. Look at that shine. Um, this is a Delta Zeta sweatshirt that belonged to Angelina, but Penny's daughter, Caitlin, who used to work for me, is in this sorority. I have been meaning to get this to her for so long. So got my check, cleaned up the coach bag, and bringing back the sweatshirt. And there's my pile of loot. We'll go over that quickly when I get back. Okay, so I did pretty well. Even aside from the incredible Burberry coat, I could have gone home after that but I stayed, they had so many new with tag items. Because I'm having my whatnot show on Sunday, I was motivated to go to the sale because the pre-owned shirts were just $3. I love when my buy-in is on the lower side for whatnot sales because then there's less risk that I'm gonna lose anything during a live sale if I don't have the buyers in the room. I loved all those Tommy Bahama tops. Jay was really excited. He tried them on. He's like, I think I'm officially an old man because he loved a bunch of them. I think he took three or four and they're upstairs, but some that I will be selling in my whatnot show this Sunday is this black one and they're all silk I mean one of the things about guys button-down shirts is that they can be really high maintenance so even if they're a nice brand if they're 100% cotton and they're super wrinkled I was just talking in my previous video about how I don't like to take home high maintenance items but these were all from the cleaners they were in beautiful condition so i think we're going to sell this this is a tommy bahama one it still has the dry cleaner tag on it typically with tommy bahama the busier the better kind of like robert graham shirts you know if it has a big pattern on it like i don't think that black one will do as well this carbon to cobalt top i took for jay i don't know if he's seen this one yet he ended up taking most of the lighter colored uh, tommy bahama shirts so Rocco's in Ireland uh, and he will be home before the time before my whatnot show. So if there are shirts that he wants, I will give them to Rocco. Um, but I wanted to show you all the Tommy Bahama ones that will be in my whatnot show, which actually today whatnot is our sponsor. So I just want to say a few words about them. Whatnot is an app that allows you to buy and sell items in a live format. So picture Poshmark, except it's live and you get to interact with me, which is the best part for me. I am able to show you things up close, share details with you about the fabric or the fit. You're able to ask questions in real time. I set the clock for either 30 seconds or 20 seconds. When I do my whatnot sales, I have an auction section, which is primarily where everything is and will be for this Sunday show. A buy it now section. Sometimes people will put pricier items in buy it now that they don't want to risk will go for a lower price or or they'll just put things that they may have multiples of like I had a Timberland knit hat that I had in my buy it now so you can be as creative as you want with it and the interactive piece is really what I love the most I'll be hosting my next live stream on st. Patrick's Day this Sunday March 17th at 10 a.m. if you're new to whatnot and you download the app using my link you'll get $15 to spend on your first purchase so whether it's on my live stream or somebody else's that $15 will be waiting for you you also get to buy bundle up to five pounds worth of merchandise for under $9 in shipping, which is fantastic. So a lot of times people will create bundles if there are some really great deals out there. Give it a try. There's so much on whatnot besides clothing as well, like Legos or Disney, or if you're into nice handbags, they have beautiful luxury handbag shows. There's so much, there are shows happening all day long, all night long. If you're a reseller, chances are you'll be able to find something at a lower cost that you can resell. And if you're or a buyer, you can find something at a great price. You never know what's gonna happen at a whatnot show. It's really fun to see the energy that a live show brings to the sale. I'll be sure to leave the link in the description for my show this Sunday. I would love it if you came by to say hello. You can redeem your $15 credit if it's your first time downloading the app. And I'll give you a little preview of some of the things that I'm gonna have at the show, including some of the things that I got at this sale, which was one of my main reasons for going to this sale. And then it just turned into so much more. So a few of the other things that I plan on showing at the live stream this weekend is this Lucky Brand top. I typically pass on Lucky Brand things unless it's in a larger size or unless the price is right. And for $3, I loved the colors in this blouse. It's a nice spring top. It's really beautiful. I feel like I should have some green stuff in the show. So I was happy when I found this Adidas sweatshirt in really excellent condition. 
There's water delivery outside. Oh, actually, hold on. I have jugs that I need to get picked up. Hold on. Okay, we have water delivery pickup and the guy is here. So I just wanted to make sure that he was able to, um, to take our empties. Okay, these I don't think I'm gonna put in the show just because they're seasonal, they're new with tag and they're the Vineyard Vines uh, lounge pants. These have little whales and Christmas trees. The whales have Santa Claus hats. This is an extra small, so is this. Just as I got settled after my little water pickup, my battery died. Instead of reloading my battery, I thought I would just show everything to you here because I did show some of it at the sale. The stuff on the bottom row, I think are the pieces that I'm going to put in my live show. So this Columbia little uh, quarter zip is really nice. I think it's a size medium this nike golf shirt it's nice to have some men's stuff at the show i don't always have a lot of men's this is an extra large kids actually this shirt is um, spf proof and it's really nice i like the little bear there um this is a size 2x women which i didn't realize when i was shopping i love this cowl neck sweater philosophy the original price is 68 dollars. this sweater i am going to list um, because I think it's more of a specific buyer. Wool and acrylic made in Hong Kong, really nice condition. I saw comps for around $49 on a very similar sweater. So that is going to get listed. These gloves are really nice. They only cost $2. They were new with tag. I love the little wool liner, but I'm not seeing a brand. Could maybe put those in the show. They're size extra large, but I don't know if anybody's really looking for gloves right now. I don't know. I might just end up listing those. They're really nice. This, I think I could put in the show. This is really pretty. I think Penny charged me $4 for this because it was sleeveless. I don't know if I mentioned the new with tag item I was primarily charged $5 for. I ended up giving some extra money for the Burberry. When I went back with the check, I added an additional $20. And I think she charged me six for the Vineyard Vine ones. So that's why I'm gonna list those instead. Don't mind my mess. The Ofus, I'm definitely listing. Can someone please pronounce this for me? Is it Charles Tierwit? Tierwit, that seems about right. Those I will list, they're new with tag. This is the Tommy Hilfiger that I'm giving to my son, Anthony. It's his size, the price tag on it is $85. This Slim is the best, the best water bottle I've ever owned. Just happens to be on the table. And this is the Eddie Bauer jacket that I bought that I really like. I saw a comp for around $33. I like the longer length of this. It's in really great condition. And then the gold earrings, which are up here. <laughs> I am probably just gonna keep those. I thought they were pretty. Now let's take a look in here at things that will be at the show. Here is the Burberry. This is not going to be in the show. I'm going to list this. I'm not sure what I'm listing it at just yet, but it is absolutely beautiful. This is my rack of things for the sale. There's the Adidas sweatshirt. I think I'm gonna start with that um, to kick off St. Patrick's Day. And I'm gonna look through my inventory downstairs to see if I have any other green items for St. Patrick's Day. This is an Italian girl doing a St. Patrick's Day show. Most of these items were pulled from my own closet when I did my dresses clear out. I went through some sweaters. This is a really nice Lululemon sweater. It's an older style. It's got the patches on the elbow. That was mine. I wore that for a while. Um, I got this Walt Disney World sweatshirt, which is really cool. It's vintage. It's a little distressed. One of my best friend's daughters was thrifting and she's like, Lori, I found this. Would you like it to sell? And she picked it up for me for five bucks. Oh, this is a little retail arbitrage that I think is so cute for Easter. Look at how adorable. From Nanette Lepore. Um, $128. So there is the mom's purse. And look at the little girl purse. How adorable is this? I love it. There's a crossbody strap there on both of them. Probably going to start everything around three or four dollars. Just clearing out my own closet. Had some spring stuff. I also pulled a few things from Poshmark that has been there for a while. Like this dress I've had for like four years. It's actually a really beautiful dress, but it's strapless and strapless dresses are a hard sell for me. This I picked up at Savers just specifically to sell. It's American Eagle. I love this Southwestern pattern. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. Like a dress I bought and then never wore. Um, this is an awesome Rana Gill set. 
It's a jumpsuit. This has been listed for a while. Rana Gill is such a great brand, but it just hasn't sold for me. So I'm selling it. We have a lot of good stuff. And now a few of the men's pieces that I've added. Some suede jackets that my mother-in-law gave me. Jean cutoffs. This is a really pretty dress. Um, oh, yeah, that was mine, too. This is a really beautiful dress from the same brand as the bag, Nanette Lepleur. A jumpsuit, lots of really great things in the show. So be sure to tune in if you're seeing this before March 17th, 2024. Okay, I'm actually really going now. It was my dad's anniversary yesterday, so we have a mass um, in my hometown that we're going to. My brother's in town from Florida, so we're heading out pretty soon. I hope to see some of you at my Whatnot show tomorrow. Remember, if you are new to Whatnot and you wanna give it a try, just download the app using the link in my description and you'll get $15 to spend on your very first purchase. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys. I'm so excited about this haul. Um, Tina's working on Monday, so we'll get some of this stuff listed. That's not going the live show. And I will see you in a new video real soon. Bye, guys.